Yeah, so I was telling Molly, if you come through the door and there's weight there and the rack's folded out, you have to do five reps with whatever weight's on there. So we'll see if that ever happens. All right, let me hit my last set. What's up, guys? Oh. Whoa, 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 I was just telling Sam, if you come through the door with weight on the bar, you have to do five reps. Right, right. <laughs> so that means you have to do five reps. Dude, I can only lift like 130 pounds, man. Sorry, dude. It's part of the rules. House rules. Either leave or do this. Let's go. All right. Here we go. He's going to die. Oh, my God. Hey, what's up? This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and today we are reviewing quite possibly the best, most compact squat rack in existence. This is the Rogue RML90 Slim Door Mount Fold Back Rack. Now you may recall when the pandemic started in the US and gyms started shutting down that Sornex came out with a rack specifically for people that were starting a home gym called the Off Grid Rack. The off-grid rack was this basic rack with like these cutouts in it. Kind of looked like a barbell rack. We did a full review on it. You can check it out in the link in the bio. But the idea was that it was small, compact, sh cheap to ship, cheap to make, and they could get it in people's hands. Well, this is Rogue's answer to that. Now I'm kind of reviewing two racks in one here. This is the RML90 Slim DM version, the door mount version. They also have a regular version. The regular version was the one that came out that was basically there to compete with Sornex. It's cheaper, it doesn't fold away, but it has very similar features. So this is basically two in one. Now that's the stick, is that it folds away and it goes in a doorway. So it's like this is the first doorway rack that I've ever seen that's ever been introduced to the market. And they're basically testing the waters to see if it's something people would like. But before I comment on that a little bit more, let's go into the specs. Like practically all Rogue products, the RML90 Slim is made in the USA. It uses their standard 3x3, 11 gauge steel, 5 8 inch hole pattern uprights called the Monster Light uprights. It's using west side hole spacing through the bench area. It has a depth from the mounting surface of about 13 inches. It's five inches when folded against the wall, so that's how much it sticks out. It's got four stringers that come with it, included at an even 500 bucks. The functionality of it is similar to any other fold back rack. You pull out a pin, which is right here. They're using these you know, five eighths inch pins that can also go in these side holes as well when you're not using them. They leave enough space in both the top and the bottom so you can lift it up, move it over, and out of the way. They use UHMW feet on the base so it's not like hurting your floor at all, but it also allows enough like slick so that you can move it out without lifting it up. But if you're having trouble like moving it out back and forth, then you can easily lift it up and move it over out of the way. And if you want to lock it in, you can put it in. They supply bolts for both the top and the bottom. I think that's like unnecessary. Really, you just need it in one or the other to keep it locked in. Now that it's locked, there is some side to side play. If I was to put another one up top, there'd be a little bit less, but I don't think it's something that anybody's gonna notice. But all of the weight like you'd think, okay, is the weight up against the studs or anything like that? No, because this is in contact with the ground, it's completely vertical, that means the weight is basically loaded against the ground. So there's gonna be very little pull from the top, so you shouldn't worry about this like pulling out of the wall or something like that. And if you are, we actually dropped 500 pounds one time on a PRX fold down rack from the top and the only thing that happened was a lag bolt up in the top right corner that wasn't in a stud popped out. Everything else was fine. Now in the intro, I said this is one of the best compact squat racks for those that are on a budget. There are cheaper racks out there. There's no doubt about it. The difference is this is one of the cheapest made in the USA, most compact racks that's available. So if you don't care about made in the USA, then you should probably look elsewhere because you can get racks that are kind of like this from other people. For instance, Titan, they've got like a short, slim rack. Uh, there was a company called Pure Strength. I don't know if they're around anymore, but they used to have a slim, I think they called the Slim Gym Rack or something like that. But it's basically a rack that's very close to the wall. 
But as far as like a made in the USA rack, this is one of the cheapest options that's available for made in the USA. And it's also very compact. So I think like the, the person for this, like this particular option is probably somebody in an apartment or somebody with a doorway access that they want like the ability to like have it out of the way or for somebody that does CrossFit, wants a compact rack, but also wants to do kipping pull-ups in the doorway. It also allows people that feel like claustrophobic because when you're getting under that bar and this door is shut or you're using the Armel 90 Slim or a Sornex off-grid, like you feel like really close to the wall. That doesn't mean it's prohibitive, like you can still get under it, but it is like it's there. You recognize like, hey, I'm this far from the wall, which for some people, like my wife, uh, you know, she doesn't like that claustrophobic feeling. It can feel a little like, ah, I don't like this. It's one of the reasons people like these big, open, airy squat racks. Now, one of the questions that people are gonna ask is, can you fit a bench in this? And the answer is yes, there's no problem. So I think that's one of the, like, the things that people were worried about with the off-grid rack, they're worried about with this, is like, can I actually bench underneath it? Yes, you can. However, you can't use an adjustable bench if you leave the door shut. So that's one of the other benefits about this. If you want to use an adjustable bench but still want a compact rack, you open the door, you put your adjustable bench in, and then you can adjust the width of it so you can stay underneath it depending on the incline that you're at. So that's one of the reasons that I think people are going to choose this in addition to like using the kipping features. If you're not using an adjustable bench and you're not using the kipping features, then I don't really see much of a reason to put this in a doorway. Now versus competitors, there is a big reason to choose this rack versus like an off-grid rack. And the reason is that this uses the standard uprights, which therefore means that you can use the standard attachments, which therefore means you don't have to bench alone. I do not like benching alone. I do never suggest benching alone. I think it's dangerous. I know people that have, like had friends that have died or family members that have died. It's like a serious thing. So I always suggest getting something that you can use spotter arms because it's just like, it's not a big expense to add. It's gonna increase the functionality of the rack. So you can buy spotter arms from Rogue, I think for 150 or 200, somewhere around there, that can then be put in the rack because you're using the standard hole spacing. You have the west side hole spacing, but you're using the standard three by three rack. So you can add any attachment that would work for a monster light rack. That means, I mean, technically you could add jammer arms to this if you really wanted to. Um, you, I mean, there's just lots of different like landmines and all sorts of things that you could add to this that you couldn't add to something like the off-grid rack, which is why I think this is superior. Now, there are a few things that I would like to see them add. One is they're not offering these in color. I think it's just because they're like trying to get them out as quickly as possible. So right now you can only get it in black. I know that's something a lot of people like is the colors. So being able to offer it in the wide range of rogue colors that they've got would be definitely an upgrade. The pull-up bar that they have, I, I don't have it here, I've used it quite a bit. It works well, it sits on there well, it locks in well, but the issue is, is it's not like this like quick adjust pull-up bar. I think they may call it a quick adjust, but it's not that quick. You have to pull the pins out on either side and then take it down. I think like a better option and one of the best options I've seen, PRX has this, where it, like it's a pull-up bar that folds up and then locks in. It just makes it like easy to use, it's like quicker. It's always locked on one side, so you only have to lock it on the other side. It's more stable. I like that style a little bit better. I could see some people liking that one better because you may not use the rack with the pull-up bar all the time, so having it out of the way is nice. Uh, but other than that, I'm a fan. I think for the price point at like 500 bucks or so, if you wanna add numbered uprights, it's another 50 bucks. It's a great option, but I think the better option for most people is the slim rack, the one that's the RML 90 slim that starts at 350 with like the brackets, goes up to like a little bit more with cross members. I mean, these sorts of racks, I expect to see these in a lot of people's home gyms because they're just so affordable. They're out of the way, they still allow you to squat, deadlift, bench, all the things you wanna do, allow you to add attachments, allow you to park in your garage, I think these are a great option. So if you're looking for like a slimmer, smaller rack that you know is priced at a pretty affordable price, these are ones I'd look at. So this has been Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Do you agree? Do you think this is a, a cool option or do, are you all about the 
Huge power racks. Let me know in the comments. See you next time. Peace.